Thanks to their global availability and affordable price, consumer string devices from Amazon, like the Amazon Fire TV Stick, have often been used in recent years as players in various digital signage projects, especially in the small and medium businesses. But despite their obvious advantages, these devices also had certain drawbacks, primarily around complex setup processes and scalability issues. Well, the guys at Amazon heard the market's call, and in November 2024, they came up with a new device called the Amazon Signage Stick. A product positioned as a professional yet still affordable digital signage player. Hi all, I'm Gabriel and you're watching the Luke Digital Signage channel where we talk about everything related to digital screens in one way or another. As you've probably guessed by now, today's video is fully dedicated to Amazon's new device. As always, we'll go through the full cycle, starting with the unboxing, moving on to the specs and finishing up with the setup and testing. What makes it even more exciting is that just a few days ago, Luke DS was officially added to the list of CMS partners for the Amazon signage stick. That means you can now use our software with this device, ensuring smooth and hassle-free performance. But before we dive in, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be the first to know when we drop new and exciting videos. Now let's get started. Here it is, the star of today's video. Amazon, let's say, didn't go overboard with the packaging. It's as minimalistic as it gets. Inside, all components are set neatly, placed in an ergonomic inner box, where each of them has its own place. What's included? The device itself, which looks uh, exactly like the good old second gen Fire TV Stick 4K Max, a USB cable and power adapter, an HDMI extender, a remote control, batteries for it, and a small quick start guide. In short, exactly the same as what you get with the Fire Stick mentioned above. So what about the specs? Same deal as with the design and packaging, or are there any differences? You can see the key specs on the screen right now. And to be honest, we're basically looking at twins. The signage stick also supports 4K, runs on the same 4.0 GHz quad-core CPU with an 850 MHz GPU comes with the familiar 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage, and supports Wi-Fi 6E. The natural question is, what's the difference? And why pay nearly twice as much for the device that looks and feels identical? Here's where it gets interesting. It's all about firmware. You won't find the multimedia features you used to on the Fire Stick. Amazon has heavily optimized the firmware to make the signage stick a professional plug and play digital signage player, perfect to a project of all sizes and complexity. Some key advantages of this device include quick and simple setup, easy scalability, reliable performance, software auto launch, secure bootloader and data encryption. And of course, the price is 99.99 US dollars, which is, if not the best, then at least one of the most competitive offers in the professional digital signage player market today. So let's look at all these advantages in action. Setup process is where you will really notice the difference compared to the Fire Stick. While the Fire Stick required logging into your Amazon account and took a few minutes to set up, this new device works in seconds. We plug the player into the screen and power it on. Bad remote, there's a QR code on the right for help, but we will need it. Just hit the play, select your language, and connect to your Wi-Fi network to receive a unique code on the screen. Now head to the Amazon Signage Console, log in, enter the code, and select Luke Diaz from the CMS Partners drop-down. Hit save. The signage stick will now automatically download and launch the Luke app. In just a few seconds, you will go through the required permissions and get the six-digit code to link the device with the Luke Content Manager. Go to your dashboard and add the screen. Let's now send our standard test playlist to the stick. As you can see, everything looks great and plays smoothly. Just to add, during the onboarding process, Luke and Amazon Teams ran a full month of non-stop testing of our app's performance on the signage stick and no compatibility issues were found. So you can safely use this setup in your digital signage projects. And as always, you can try it all out yourself with our 14 day free trial where there are no functional limitations and no credit card required. To wrap things up, we believe the Amazon Signage Stick 
has entered the market seriously and with staying power. This strong offering is bound to carve out a niche and become one of the top picks for digital signage, especially in the small and medium businesses. The only downside? As of now, it's only available in the US, but I have no doubt that it will expand to other markets very soon. That's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. This has been Gabriel as always. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.